Hi. A couple of users on the Magix Info Forum requested help in applying the characteristics of a transition to all photos and videos and in adjusting the duration of photos to compensate for the transitions. If you're in storyboard mode, switch to timeline mode. I suggest that you always work in timeline mode so that you can clearly see the editing process and the other tracks. I'm using Photo Story 2019 in timeline mode and I already have several photos on track 1. To make a transition, click the right side object, then click on the transition icon that shows as AB and select crossfade. A transition is created and everything to the right moved left. Did you notice that? You can see that the right object overlaps the left object by a certain duration and the transition icon is changed. To see the duration, click on the icon and select transition length at the bottom of the list. The length shows as one second. You can change the length by using the slider or by typing in the length in the box in minutes, seconds and frames. Not fractions of a second, but frames. I could apply this to all, but I won't right now. Click on Cancel or OK. So a transition is just an overlap of the left and right photos or objects. You can make a transition manually by dragging the right object over top of the last part of the object to its left. Again, the amount of overlap is the duration of the transition. However, this method leaves a gap on the right side. Then I'll have to move everything else to the left to close the gap. There's a trick to avoid this. Normally, we're in mouse mode for a single object. That's the arrow button that's highlighted. The button to its right is to attach objects in all tracks. Click on this. Now when you move an object, everything else to its right and above and below will also move. This is what happened automatically when I made the transition the first time using the transition button or icon. Click on the button in the transition zone again and look at the list. Apply to all objects in the track. This includes any objects that come before the selected transition. And apply to all of the following objects in the track. This will only affect objects to the right of the selected object. I'll select the first one and now we see that all of the photos have transitions of equal length. Click on the transition button again and note that there's a list of standard transition templates. You can select one from the list, like Swing 1. Back on the timeline, we see this Swing Transition. You can also click on the Templates button at the top of the media pool to see the various templates and types of transitions. You can try these out for yourself. Back to the transition button. I'll apply the Swing 1 transition to all of the following objects. And it's done. Scrubbing along the timeline, we see the same transition at each photo. You can always change a transition by clicking on the transition icon and selecting a new one from the list, or by dragging a new one from the templates onto the transition. Instead of creating a transition in the first place by using the transition icon or by manually dragging a photo or a video clip over its neighbor, another way to create a transition is by selecting a transition. Go to the Templates tab or button in the Media Pool, Transitions Basic, and I'll select Alpha Magic. You can click on the arrow button to preview it. Drag it using the left mouse button to the front of one of the photos or video clips and a transition is automatically created. Scrub over it to see what it does. Look at the bottom of the Media Pool window. There are two buttons at the bottom right. Click on the clock button and it opens the Set Transition Duration dialog box and we see that the transition length is 1 second 0 frames. Cancel this and click on the gear button and we see the Alpha Magic Variants. Only some of the transitions have variants. You can click on the play arrow to see what the transitions look like. I'll cancel that. Click on the transition icon and at the bottom we see Settings. Click on that and it brings up the same variant selection interface. So there's more than one way to get to the duration and settings. I'll reset everything to no transitions. 
Let's look at one last thing that another user mentioned. He had lined up his photos with transients or beats in a song that was placed on another track, like the one that I've added here in track 4. Now I haven't actually done this exercise, but let's just say that I have. Then he applied transitions to all photos. The duration changed, shortened, because each one was moved to the left. Well, he was pretty unhappy about this. When you insert photos, they automatically take on the length shown in the program settings, which is 7 seconds by default. I suggest that you change this to maybe 4 seconds. However, if you know the beats per minute of a song, you can calculate the length and change the default duration to that. Then import your photos. You can check the duration of a photo on the timeline by right-clicking on it and selecting View Duration to open the current photo display time interface. We saw this before, and you can change the duration here. So what should my friend do? Well, it's quite simple. He should change the duration of the photos to compensate for the transitions. Assuming that the photos are the same duration, when you add a transition and apply it to all, check the transition length. Note this. In my case, it's 1 second and 5 frames. Now the transitions are all out of sync with the music. It's very important here to move the playback marker to the very beginning of the first photo that's going to get its duration changed here. Right-click on the first image that's out of sync, select View Duration, and change the duration to what it shows plus the length of the transition. In this case, I'll change 7 seconds to 8 seconds and 5 frames. Apply this to the area between the start and end markers, and all of the photos will now be the correct length. And adjust as necessary. That's it for this tutorial. Try out the various templates to see what they do. Thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy.